Hello, it's Sunday, May the 4th, June the 4th, June the 4th, May the, June the 4th be with you. We've got Dr. T Volcano, always a, always a rushed, rushed event for me. Weekend Dr. T's are not a good one for me to record. I sh probably shouldn't even be doing them just because they end up costing me a truckload of diamonds because I fail a ton on them, but that's okay. We'll get, go we'll get it today. It's going to be magical. Uh, where are we today? We are... Trader is still here. Uh, got all the trades that I... Oh, I got, look at that! I got a trader crate. Let's do that first. Probably should have saved that for next week's trader video, but... Okay, so... Uh, here we go. Let's get on to this. On to the volcano day. Hopefully it's an easy one. Please be an easy one. I need an easy one today. I'm just exhausted today. Took the kids to a fair last night, which was pretty awesome. Rides and craziness, and my kids are not brave enough to go on most of the crazy rides yet. There was no zipper or um, gravitron or octopus or any of those sorts of things, but nevertheless, pretty fun. Pretty fun. Uh, I was always a, I was always a zipper fan. Montezuma's. I think when we went to Universal Studios, we went on Montezuma's Revenge about. 30 times in a day or something like that. Good. I don't know what I don't know what the best rides are nowadays. And our the kids, we haven't taken them to Disneyland yet. Someday, but for right now, pretty happy just to uh, just to take the kids on something awesome. My uh, my I, of the three kids, my daughter is the biggest daredevil, but she's also the youngest. So I'm gonna have to wait a couple years before we can go on the crazy rides. But it'll come, and I don't. I'm very curious. I mean, I haven't looked at Disneyland almost intentionally, just because I know that once I start looking, I'll want to go. But very curious to see what the rides are like out there. I don't know if like when I went to Disneyland, Space Mountain was the best ride. I don't know if it still is or not, but but um, I'm sure I'm sure there are new and exciting things. But one day, one day, totally tangenting as always. Battle orders for the win. Oh, actually, I have a um, kind of a neat operation attack I wanted to add on. I just thought of it now, though, so I don't know if I'll be able to do it. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna, I'll try to add it on at the end. So stick around, and assuming that all goes well, I will show you kind of a neat operation attack. I haven't seen it anywhere else, I don't think. Um, I don't know. People might be doing it. I just, I just haven't seen it. So kind of a neat little trick that I wanted to share with you that went um, a little bit better than expected, actually. Um, yeah, it went very, very well, and so I will share it with you. And it has some potential to do some fantastic stuff. It's using Ever, using Ever, using Everspark, and I might have. If you're on Discord, you probably might have already seen it. I've already shared it there, but we'll see. We'll see. So I want to go right back into. Actually, let's just go right there. Forget it. Let's just go right there. I'm sure, that works. Spot. That works. Um, this is a, this is not a good spot for me to be in. I need actually I need to go over to here first. I need to go over to here, otherwise, uh oh, get underneath there. Otherwise, that bottom shock launcher is going to be in range, and that would not have been a good thing. Um, probably shouldn't have even flared core there, but whatever. Let's just get it. Let's just get it. And the can gets one. I think a mine got a couple more, so a couple losses. But this shock launcher was why I shouldn't have parked my first original spot. So, moving on, moving along. Stage 3 down, already losing troops. Never a good sign. <clears throat> Let's have a look. What do we got? I like these ones where you can go right, farm some GBE, and then get in behind core. These are my, these are some of the, like, I, I just like roving the landscape. Did I say landscape? Landscape. Not skating, not skating. We're not skating. So now, let's get rid of... You guys, machine guns and I are not friends. Let's get rid of that rocket launcher just to keep it totally simple. Oh, the rocket launcher did not go down, and neither did the machine guns. Not a good start for GBE land, anyways. Now we're getting there, though. Let's get rid of the... What's that thing called? The sniper tower as well. Now... What's going to have to happen is I'm going to have to do a quick reposition or that mortar right there is going to wreck me a little bit. I'm going to move back into here now that those things are done. 
and Brick's gonna do something silly because that's what Brick does. And we're gonna put a, a more of uh, what's that called? A shock there. And a shock there. And some of the ladies got peaked because their names are Heather. Nothing against Heathers. I love Heathers, but in this game, Heathers are the bane of my existence. What is Brick doing? Come on, Brick, get up there. Come on, Brick, don't die on me. There we go. Shocking, shocking, shocking medkits, of course. And Brick didn't even die. Way to go, Brick. And you gotta be careful when you hit battle orders there, because if she's not in smoke, she'll just run up there and waste it as your ladies are under smoke. So, stage four down. One loss, seven losses. Ugh. Oh, sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. Here we go. Stage five. Shock launcher's not in range if we place our Zookas properly. Little bit of an awkward walk, but we can figure that out on the walk. Let's get rocking and rolling. Let's go right about there with our... Oh, that's not going to get the boom mine, is it? Oh, I did get the boom mine. Cool. Let's go... I think I can do a barrage. I don't need to barrage too far that side. Let's just barrage right in here. Maybe we can get a couple of things with that barrage. Get that mine. Get the mine by the sniper tower, please. Okay, let's get it with like this then. Like that. Here we go. Come on. Get it. Get it. Get it. Got it. Okay. Not a bad start with the barrages. Lots of GBE for this one. I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but I think the kill zone is pretty clear. So we're going to start way... I mean, sorry, the snuggle spot. I think that's what I'm supposed to call it. We're going to snuggle right into the snuggle spot. Silly Merp coming through with the new Boom Beach terminology. Bringing Boom Beach into the modern age with her new high-tech snuggle spots. Now, we're going to go right into there. And the reason why I didn't flare all the way back is because I just noticed that one mine that's beside that uh, crate container thing. And I wanted to go a little bit right of it. Oh, I managed to avoid. Look at that beautiful, beautiful path. And then I'm going to go right into there now that we're walking. And I've got two smokes into there. And it's probably a lot of smokes. But we've still got two shocks, which I think is all we need. There's nothing really in range here. So we should be okay. Should be okay. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to clear this spot. I don't even need to... Um... There we go. Let's just clear this whole area. There's nothing in range. So rather than worrying about... Um, every, the, the headquarters going down during that first round of shocks. We're just going to clear everything. I'll use another round of battle orders. Much easier than worrying about um, damage versus damage. What is Brick doing? Brick's having a dance party there. Yeah, Brick! Still going. She's still going. Brick's still going. Yeah, I'd love to hear the beats that are going in her headphones. Yeah, Brick. You go, girl. Like, what is even happening there? What is she doing? Just going to town. Rave party in Brick's head. Here we go. Stage six. Stage six. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love, I love, love, love when they go. So I can go all the way wide left side, get all this free GBE. And then we're going to walk somewhere back in this neighborhood. And we'll have a wonderful, wonderful hit on the headquarters, and I will be very happy. And everything will blow up, and life will be good. So I'm going to barrage right here. Need to get rid of these mines. Hopefully, maybe, maybe, maybe get rid of... I mean, you don't really normally care about sniper towers and boom cannons, but I just want to make a nice, clean spot for the ladies to stand. So we're going to go like this... Now, I'm going to get that green, um, what's that thing called? I can't remember what they're called. I can't remember the I can never remember the names for these things. We're going to wait until that goes down, and then I'm going to flare right back into here. There we go. Get away from the machine guns. Oh, risking it. Probably not all that smart doing things like that, but I like to get all the available GBE when I can sometimes, just because it's fun. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's 18 GBE back here, so this should be pretty good. Assuming that we don't lose, and the machine gun's back a little bit, so we should be able to get it without a heck of a lot of difficulty. Now I'm going to flare right into there. Might as well use an extra smoke, even though it's not really required. 
And then we're going to flare right into this corner. I might need to adjust that flare in the corner just because of all the mines that are around it. I'm going to actually go a little bit closer to the core. Let's go like this. So, oh, Brick's dead. There's so much. I guess that saves me some GBE though. So, four shocks is what I need. Um, one, two, three, four, and a medkit. And medkits. Medkits for days. Medkits for days. Only one rocket launcher hitting us, so we should be okay. I wonder what happened to Brick. Probably he still probably had her, her iPod turned up too loud. Dancing to that same music as the last round. But nonetheless, stage six goes down. Goodbye, stage six. Pretty good so far. Minimal losses. How many troops have we lost so far? Um, 40 diamonds worth, I suppose. Um, let's have a look at stage seven. Probably shouldn't have done that quite yet. I, o I always uh, reload my troops too early. You should all only reload when you know if you're actually going to use those troops. Like, um, So those rocket launchers covering the right shore. Probably want to drop somewhere in the middle here, in this general vicinity. Look at that nice flower underneath the tree. Um, and then we'll walk somewhere... Let's see here, rocket launcher back there. Rocket launcher's over there. We're going to park somewhere near this machine gun. Let's just do that, shall we? Um, should be a pretty clear path otherwise, though. Let's just get somewhere near... I wonder if we can actually get rid of that machine gun. Um, probably not. Let's just see how much damage we do. I didn't check the health damage in the core, which I always forget to do, but no, that machine gun did not even budge. Let's check the health in the core. Ooh, Nelly. <clears throat> okay, what do we got? Oh, the health in the core is not unreasonable whatsoever. So, two rocket launchers there. I can have, actually, that's just one shock, though. One shock. Two shocks, three shocks, and medkit probably. Something in, to that extent. Let's go one artillery there. And one artillery there. And then we will just straight up do a crazy walk. Um, let's just go like this. And we'll drop a smoke right there. And then we'll smoke to right about there. Get walking, you ladies. Get walking, you ladies. And then as they start to arrive... Uh oh I'm losing some already. We're going to flare right to there. Maybe not the best walking path, but it's a walking path. Let's get into there. One, two... <clears throat> How many ladies have we lost so far? Not that many, actually. So we should be okay. We got three shocks and... Uh oh I need to shock here quickly. And here quickly, and here quickly, and medkit the crap out of everything. Oh, there's another rocket launcher back there I did not see, but the medkits are doing wonderful things. And down it goes. A little bit sloppy, but again, that was quick. That was only 13 minutes for all seven stages with not a lot of errors. Not perfect attacks, but good attacks. That's all you really need, usually. Now, you'll notice that I don't have troop health. Do not have troop health, and we managed to heal through two rocket launchers without problems on that stage. So... Pretty good, pretty easy. Um, now let's see if we can't get this video up. I wanted to show this video. Let me just uh, drag it into here. Let's see if this will work. Let's just drag, here we go, here we go. So I wanted to show this attack. It is by Jeff. Jeff is a beast hitter in our task force. He's been here for a long time. He's off and on. Um, a bit of, he it describes himself as more of a weekend warrior. But so this part, this is pretty standard on Rogue, using GBE to get rid of rocket launchers. Now, once the rocket launcher is down, you'll notice that he actually gets rid of the machine guns as well. Not, and it's definitely required for this attack because you see this rocket launcher over here? It is now the only thing in range that is damaged and that's gonna be critical for this hit because we're going to flash kill it. Now, when we flash kill it, we're gonna do it a little bit differently than normal. Typically a flash kill, you, uh, get, to, you get there with your delay and then you pop out a smoke and then you re-smoke. And so with this, He's going to use Everspark, and he's going to do something a little bit differently. Um, you'll notice, get lots, this is a couple Zookas there, but only uses one smoke to get into the kill, into the smoke area. Saves some GBE for sure, and then walks up. Nice walk here. Um, this is, the, the right hand side has extra, had extra rocket launchers and stuff, so we decided to go up the middle. Low health on all the buildings. 
Now, this is where things get interesting. Watch this. Everspark throws her remote and down goes the rocket launcher. And the Zookas have never been in danger. They've been under smoke the entire time. And then they head back up and he can clear behind the core. And the shield's about 30 million, but overall, so he doesn't, he doesn't finish, but just a cool, cool thing. And I'll show that to you one more time, just because um, I wanted to show a couple more details here. So, and I don't have it in slow motion or anything. Like that. This is from a different task force, so I have to show you a canned version of it. Now, um, so again, using GBE, using GBE wisely, making sure that he gets rid of all of the things that are going to be in range of Sparky and are going to be, have the potential for her to remote. So one of the things that I didn't talk about here, yeah, as you can see, obviously only the rocket launcher here is damaged, nothing else. So we know exactly what she's going to pick. Everspark picks the most damaged building that is within her range. So standard drop, right to left, avoiding all of the mess on the right hand side, avoiding all of the mess on the left hand side, and just going straight for core. There's no reason to clear any shield generators on this map. You can go straight to the back and you can clear all the mines using a combination of heavies, grenadiers, and warriors. It's a pretty cool trick. Finlandy has a great video on it. You should go check it out. Now, right about now, he has pushed the universal remote on Everspark. You can push it whenever you want. You don't have to push it when you get there. The button has already been pushed and she will wait until she gets to the flare. So right now all she's thinking about is walk to the flare. As soon as she gets to the flare she throws her thing. See that? Bam! And down it goes. Now had he have smoked a second earlier he could have kept Everspark alive but that's a low priority. Keeping your Zookas alive on this attack is far more important and uh, he gets right behind core and Bam! Look at that. All he has to do is clear now with two shocks, and behind the core is good to go. I wanted to show that just because it's pretty cool, and I haven't seen that somewhere else. And it's just uh, using Eversparks speed to get her out front to throw that remote. So uh, I don't know if that's something that we can use in future attacks. Um, I was talking to the guys from Triangle 5, and they had an assembly and typically on uh, what's that? What's that operation called? Uh, Foxtrot. Um, typically on Foxtrot, you can solo assembly using all scorchers. I know, I know that sounds a little bit crazy, but um, on a five-person task force, you just need to get the bases down. And sometimes using all scorchers is the best way to do that. So what they were saying was there's a boom cannon right by the core, and they didn't want to lose their delay. Or they didn't want to risk um, their scorchers. So a good way to get around that is to have Everspark pop out slightly ahead of your Scorchers. Now obviously that's a little bit more difficult with Scorchers because they, they're they about the same speed as Miss Sparky Spark, but still, it's possible. It's There's there's some potential there for sure. And now let's get this guy down. Come on, get it down before that Shock Launcher wrecks us. Come on, there we go. So four Ice Base at level 55. Silly, silly, silly. Bad mind pattern. Come on, get your mind spread out, people. Hide them. Hide your minds. Very important to hide your minds. Now, do I actually have my supply chest? Hey, I do have my supply chest. Let's get my supply chest. Might as well get the supply chest while we're here, because this went way faster than I expected. Let's see what this level 65 has. Do you have an ugly base? It's a long walk for me. That's a long walk. Let's all, let's, I'll go on to the next one because I don't want to spend diamonds just to get my supply chest. That is silliness. This person has no gold whatsoever. You'll notice that I had 5 million gold the other day. It's already almost all gone. Um, Three hot pots, really? How easy will Hammerman be for this person? Holy crow. Um, shock launchers are going to be a pain though. One. Let's do this. Let's go right up here. This person at least, excuse me, whew, this person at least has hid some of their mines. We're going to have to get rid of a few mines. And then I'm going to use another barrage right here. And hopefully do some damage to that. I'd like that flamethrower to go down as well, but it didn't. So using a ton of GBE here, ton of GBE. So this might be a problem, but we'll find out in about... Mm, Eight seconds. No, more like more like fourteen seconds. Let's go right up to here. To really, really, this is going to be a problem. I'm already down to forty-seven GBE. Wow. 
this is going to be a problem. This is going to be one of those ones where it's just a complete race of battle orders versus everything else. One shock, two shocks, no med kits even, just me versus that base. There we go. Whew. And obviously shocking shock launchers there is so critical because if you get shocked, the attack is over with battle orders anyways. So two shocks and down goes that base. Fun, fun, fun. Let's get one more. Let's get one more. 64, 65. Like it's, you'll just, a lot of people complain about matchmaking. I totally get where you're coming from. The fact that I'm a level 46 getting all level 64s and 65s is crazy. But for me, I'd rather play on hard mode than beach my headquarters. Obviously, different people like different things, but I myself like hard mode. I forgot to reload my troops. Speaking of hard mode... Does this person have any ice? Yeah, they've got a couple ice, so I better re reload my troops, just to be sure. Unboosted map clear HQ 18 versus HQ... what is this, 20? I don't know what this guy's got. I can never remember. I think 21 or 22 have that big red door on the front. Not entirely sure. Let's get rid of this machine gun, though. Maybe get rid of both machine guns? Yeah, machine gun's gone. And we're going to do a bit of a diagonal walk here because I like diagonal walks. One, two, three, four. And I also really, really like dropping with only seven boats. It makes things so much easier. So much easier. You can have these nice little gaps. No, it doesn't really matter. Nice little gaps. As long as you're not in range of that shock blaster, you should be fine. Uh-oh, uh-oh, those mines are looking awfully close. Awfully close. Ooh, that was scary. Now, as soon as we get most of our troops in there, we're going to walk right to there. Get walking. Nice little turns. I like That's another thing I really like, is just making little turns. Knowing where, knowing where troops will walk around specific buildings and stuff like that. I don't know, there's just a certain amount of pleasure to be gained from nice little tight turns like that. So we're going to shock here and here. Uh-oh, we only have one shock. Shoot. Needed to. Gonna be a problem. Gonna be a problem. Oh, that's where it's good. We reloaded troops because I miscounted. That's one actually. That's one of the shocks. The things that I don't. I think it's 19 GBE for two shocks. I know three, four, five, and six. I don't know two though. I think two might be 19. Seven plus 12 maybe. Let's find out. Um, seven plus 12. Okay, so it's 19 GBE for two shocks. I need to. I need to get that into my head. That's all I got. My supply chest is here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to show you a neat trick. Watch this. See this? I, I have five purple shards and uh, eight diamonds. Now watch this. What we're going to do is I'm gonna, this is very, very useful. Maybe if, say if you've got green here and you want purple, what you can actually do is you see my VP. The next rank is at 600 and I'm at 599. So what you can actually do here is you could, if you move up and now if you watch this far, very well done. Thank you for sticking around. Greatly appreciate it. But um, I'm going to show you a trick that you can do here that is very, very, very useful. And I probably showed you this before, but um, one of the guys in our task force absolutely swears by this trick and um, gives me crap because I haven't shown it enough. And that's actually, that's actually the leader of uh, Small Nine, Jesse. Jesse absolutely loves this trick because, and uses it quite a bit because... And you don't, you have to be, obviously you have to be right at the dis, the gap between um, ranks. But if you are, like I tend to float between 599 and like, or sorry, between like 580 and 620 or something like that. Or maybe even as low as 520 or something like that, depending on the day. But it works very well. So last time I think we had, what was that, uh, five or six shards I think that was. Uh-oh, this is a bad, 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 bad. Flamethrower is going to wreck us a little bit. But again, medkits. Always upgrade your medkits. My, my medkits saved me about six times in this video. And down goes Gauntlet 2. Now watch this. As we change ranks, our supply chest will change. Watch this. Annoying rank change. Now watch this. Five green shards. Now, I obviously would prefer purple to green. So I'm going to let... I won't, I won't claim this right now. Now, by not claiming it, your timer actually doesn't start for your next supply chest, so it's a little bit annoying, but I would prefer to get the purples to the green, so I'm going to wait, and I'll get raided in, like, 
all it takes is your your radar like so let's let's see here right now in the next seven minutes i might get raided and if not it's going to be 25 minutes or an hour at the most and then i'll get back to my purple stones but typically i would have accepted the first one but i wanted to show you what i was talking about so obviously purple is better than green so i'm going to wait for the purples and uh, you can do the same thing just claim it the first time obviously if you, if you see purple or reds claim them but if you see greens or blues you might want to change your rank and it'll actually it, it used to be that you could go up and down ranks and the, and the supply chest would change like change every time but now it's fixed when i go back it will be purples and gold and diamonds to pick from it, it i won't get a different supply chest than the first time so don't try and change your rank back and forth to try and get better stuff as one of my kids flushes the toilet down the hall okay that's it. That's all. Thanks for coming in. That's Dr. T Volcano. Pretty successful day today, actually. That's all I got. Have a good rest of your weekend. Peace.